Hello there everyone and welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new or welcome back if you have been here with me before for my charm readings. Um, and today we are going straight into a monthly zodiac charm. So we have Scorpio here and this is for all you Scorpio energies, sun, moon and rising. And we are taking a look at your month ahead for August um, 2021. And these are messages of inspiration and um, hopefully some good positive energy, um, divine messages of guidance as well. So we're looking at where you'll be um, drawing your attention, what's, what's going to be drawing your attention, sorry, for the month and where you'll be focusing your energies towards um, and also possibly any um, opportunities coming in for you or any challenges and obstacles that may be coming up as well. So I hope you've had um, a really good year so far. We're over the halfway point now and we're moving into the second half of our year going into the month of August already can anyone believe it um, so I hope you've been keeping well and um, you're in some really good positive energy at the moment and if not this is all about just um, taking some time to really look at what's coming ahead so that we can really set our intentions and um, refocus our minds towards some really good positive energy and keeping um, a really good high vibrational um, positive energy in our minds so now I'm just rambling but I hope you've all been well and um, I'm looking forward to getting into this August reading for you Scorpio so let's go straight into choosing your charms so here you are I'm going to be popping you into the mixing cup here in you go and then I will give the charms a good mix and we'll see what's coming up for you here in the month of August 2021. Interesting. That felt like quite a few good charms going in there. This is the noisy part, so um, if you are sensitive to noise, then I'm just going to give these a quick shake, but feel free to turn down your volume for a moment if you wish. interesting cast there so we can see that we've got quite a lot going on over here um, so let me just zoom in and we'll take a closer look at what's coming up for you ahead Scorpio we'll get straight into this charm reading okay Scorpio so here is a much closer look hopefully you can see all your charms clearly there um, so I'm going to just quickly go over the explanation of how I read the board just some of you may already know this but for anyone who's new here um, I will just explain how I break the board into sections and um, how I'll be reading the charms so what I like to do is anything that comes up in the center of the board here will be what I will be reading as um, things that will be drawing your attention or um, what you'll be really focusing your main energies towards for the month and we also have the area at the bottom will be um, for representing any challenges and obstacles that may be coming up for you in the top section of the board here I like to read that as your thoughts and feelings what's at the forefront of your mind at the moment this month on the left hand side of the board will be um, obstacles challenges experiences that you've been coming through in the recent past so for the last couple of weeks or months and over here on the right hand side of the board that will be your near future coming up so and anything you'll be working towards in the next coming few weeks or months ahead okay so with all of that being done let's go straight in to find where you are Scorpio so here you are in your challenges and obstacles area okay so don't despair yet <laughs> this isn't anything too too terrible so um, what I'm seeing here is you have quite a cluster of things going on for you so um, I'm seeing that perhaps for some of you it's um, 
there's possibly a lot going on around you that um, may be requiring you to make the changes, which is why you're showing up in your challenges and obstacles area. So you're being called upon to make the changes in order to um, unstick yourself from whatever situation you are in. So what you are surrounded by here is um, first of all we have the swallow which is a beautiful charm and that's all representative of um, love and family so it's all about your home life and your family and your loved ones um, and with that you also have the rubber band and the rubber band represents flexibility and a need to um, I'm going to say it, Scorpio, don't get mad, but um, it's about expanding your comfort zone. So really, um, it's just requiring you to be adaptable and to make some changes. Um, many of you may have already heard that before, and that may be a particular area of frustration for some of you. Um, but you quite often get the rubber band um, just to really call upon um reminding you to step out of your comfort zone or just expand it a little bit and just to keep because that's the that's the way you're going to keep moving forward Scorpio and that's the way you're going to keep that momentum going um in order to bring in the changes that you need um so it's what it, you've got it here with your family and here's you with your zodiac charm there um and you also have the turtle and the turtle's a lovely energy because it's all about just going with the flow and it's just reminding us to um, to just slow it down and pace yourself and just to take it easy and go with the flow. So what we're seeing here um, is something particularly for some of you that is related to family or um, or your home life particularly as well with the swallow here. So. Um, what you're asked, being asked to do, which is why it's coming up in your challenges and obstacles, Scorpio, is that you're being asked to, um, with whatever the situation is related to your family or your home life, you're being asked to perhaps compromise um, and adapt in some way. So you're being called upon to be flexible um, with your opinions or with um, with your viewpoint on a particular situation or with something that you're dealing with in your home life or with your family that you're being called upon to perhaps um, need uh, to have a need to compromise and be flexible there um, and also with this go with the flow energy it's just asking you to really relax and just sort of um, instead of keeping yourself stuck down here um, and causing yourself um, you may be putting up barriers you may be putting obstacles in the way um, so instead of keeping yourself down here in a challenging kind of position um, in order to move on from that and to move forwards uh, perhaps you're really needing to um, go with the flow just take it easy and um, take a step back look at how perhaps you can compromise in this particular situation that's related to your family or your home life um, just in order to help things flow a lot easier and to be able to move on from this situation that you're feeling stuck in um, just above that we also do have the wooden peg and the peg for me is literally representative of hanging in there so it literally just means um, you're really being called upon just to stick stick with it stick it out and just hang in there because um, you know good things will come from this and um, positive changes can be made um, if you can just perhaps expand that um, expand your level of comfort and just push yourself just a little bit further um, in order to just compromise to, to bring about these changes so i'm um, just a reminder there just to, to keep keep at it stick with it and hang in there and you also have an initial this is the letter k if you can see it maybe just about there um, the letter k which um, as I always read with initials, can be representative of a person's initial a place, an occupation, an experience or opportunity. It may not, not resonate with you at all, but um, please do take it um, as it comes, as it may resonate for you. It may not be for all of you. And um, we're moving up here. I'm going to slightly veer here um, back towards your recent past. We'll come back to other challenges that may be coming up for you here. But um, I just wanted to address some of the really good things that you've been working on, Scorpio, that I'm starting to see here. Um, 
So out of your recent past here, so some things that some of you have been working towards and focusing on, um, we do have a quick um, initial here that I'll just mention, and that is the letter A. So as I've just said as, again, um, it's possibly the initial of a person, experience, a place and an opportunity or an occupation. It could be something different for everyone. So that's the letter A that's relevant to some of you coming out of your recent past. And you've also got the teapot here, which is um, a lovely um, reminder of rest and relaxation. So I'm really feeling that perhaps for some of you, you've done the right thing and you've just taken that time that you've needed to really just recuperate. So put your feet up and um, just to rest and not push yourself too much. So I love that energy that you're um, coming out of here because um, there's, there's a lot of things coming up for you here um especially up here we have the abundance with the uh, pumpkin sorry so the pumpkin is representative of the harvest so it's all about seeing those um, rewards of abundance coming in from your hard work and effort so reaping the rewards from all the hard work you've been putting in and we're seeing that here um, in your recent past and it's very very closely linked to this charm here which is it's just a, a beautiful decorative bead but for me it represents my crystal ball and the crystal ball is all about spiritual guidance and clarity so finally being able to see a way forward so for some of you the hard work you've been putting in um, you're starting to see clearly now how you can reap those rewards how you can claim that abundance you're starting to see that there's definitely abundance coming into your reality now so where you've put the hard work and effort in you've taken time to to rest and relax and now maybe for some of you coming up in the month of august um out of your recent past you're really starting to see the abundance coming in and flowing in for you there and that's coming in with some spiritual guidance as well for some of you it's also very closely connected to um, an Aquarius zodiac sign as well I don't know if you can see that too clearly but here is the Aquarius zodiac charm so that may be for some of you um, this is somebody coming into your life around this area of abundance um, it could be that somebody already is in your life or is around you that is connected to the work that you've been doing and the abundance that's coming in um, for some of you it's possible that a zodiac of sorry the aquarius zodiac could be part of your birth chart as well so um, maybe you need to pay particularly close attention to this message um, but i see some really really positive things that you've been coming through um, a really good recent couple of weeks and months where you've been putting in some work and effort and you're starting to see the benefits of that now so um, i absolutely love that energy moving up here into um, your thoughts and feelings it's slightly coming out of your recent past so this may be something that's just been coming up in your mind recently um, but we have a couple of interesting charms here so we do have the nest and the nest eggs here so the nest with the nest eggs um, is representative of financial um so financial issues so um it's not particularly a negative thing it could just be that for some of you you're really starting to focus your um, in attention on your finances and creating a good solid foundation for yourself but what we're having here is what I'm getting is that perhaps this isn't a project that you've been working in um, working on and with it coming in with the abundance here I'm starting to see it as something you've been working on but we also have the rope and the rope is representative of um, feeling like your hands are tied or feeling frustrated or restricted. So it's possible for some of you um, that maybe just in general, you're feeling that your um, your financial situation is perhaps feeling a bit, you're feeling a bit stuck or you're feeling like your hands have been tied somehow. Um, and this could be just something you've been thinking about, how you can improve your circumstances, how you can improve um, your financial financial stability but for others I'm also getting um, that perhaps this is related to a project that you've been working on or a particular um, 
area of your life that you've been wanting to improve your financial income um, and perhaps it's not happening as quickly as you would like or in the way that you were hoping it would be so um, I'm starting to really feel that frustrating energy um, around this particular financial um, problem so you're definitely wanting to create that stability you're wanting to build that financial security for yourself and what you're being called upon here what you're thinking about is um it's the watering can charm and the watering can is um just is a symbol of nurturing and needing to grow um something so taking care of something in order for it to grow so with it being up here um it's perhaps you're just starting to think about what you can do to um really start building up that financial abundance um, because you have abundance here as well um but perhaps in your mind um you've just been feeling a bit restricted or a bit frustrated with um perhaps not knowing maybe it's not coming quick enough for you or perhaps you're not being able to see quite clearly um, how you're going to be able to do this but um, it just may take a bit of time because you're nurturing it you're growing it so it may be the beginning of a project or the beginning of an idea of how you can build on your finances um, but it may not come in in um, rapid growth but it may just take some time some nurturing and um, just take time to grow so it is developing it's happening and it's coming you've definitely been putting in the work and you are starting to see clearly now um, the efforts that you've put in are starting to come in reality but for some reason up here in your mindset um, I'm just seeing that there is some frustration surrounded around um, your financial situation but moving on also in your mind here coming on to the rest of the month here throughout august i'm seeing your focus shift towards love we can't mistake it it's a great big sparkly word love um, and this could be just about um, having love on your mind, really appreciating and really thinking about all of um, all of the people around you that you love and um, really bringing in that positive energy of love just to lift your mind, um, to lift your, your mindset so that um, you're focusing your intentions towards um, being grateful for the love that you have around you. So it's connected also here to, with the swan and the swan um, literally can just represent um, elegance and beauty so it can really be for some of you that you're just starting to really appreciate the beauty of having lots of love in your life um, and that's love for ourselves as well and love for our friends and family so it's really just um, something that's going through your mind at the moment just looking at where um, where the energy of love brings in that that beauty into your life and for others the swan also does re represent a soul connection and with it being closely linked to the love here it could be that you're really starting to um focus your energies towards your it's really on your mind at the moment that you're wanting to um, find that soul connection with somebody um and with that love right there you're really starting to focus on drawing in that energy of um, connecting to that someone special, finding your soulmate. Um, so that's an interesting, a beautiful energy because it may be that you already have that in your life and you're really starting to um, bring attention to it um, and to any loved ones that you have, you're wanting to focus your mind on um, the, the existing relationships that you already have and for others as I said it could be really starting to um, focus on finding your soulmate as well and that's interesting because going into your central focus for the rest of the month um, we're seeing the key and the key is a great energy um, it can be for some unlocking um, issues from the past and letting them go so it could be unlocking and closing the door on um, any negative energies or any negative experiences from the past and just letting that go just closing the door on it and letting it go throw away the key um, because that's no longer serving you any good purpose anymore so that may be required of some of you 
but for others it also can be unlocking new opportunities um, and experiences as well it can literally represent a new home so for some of you maybe you are moving that could be unlocking um, a new home um, and it really could just be unlocking any new experience really so maybe you're starting a new job possibly you're um, opening yourself up to um, a new relationship as well beginning a new relationship for some of you um, whatever that means for you but it's interesting because we have it right next to the dog here and the dog is all about loyalty um, it can also represent protection as well so um, perhaps some of you are feeling um, with these new opportunities opening up for you maybe you're feeling a need to perhaps protect yourself a little bit um, but it also does bring in loyalty and unconditional love as well which is interesting because that's what's been going on in your mind here but we're also started starting to see it come into your main focus for the month as well so um, the dog really can just represent loyalty loyalty and unconditional love so that could be what you're looking for in a relationship um, for some of you it really could just be that you're wanting to surround yourself with people that you can trust that are loyal to you that make you feel protected um, so it's an interesting energy so whatever is unlocking here um, this is what you're wanting to focus your energy on you're wanting to bring in that um, unconditional love and protection as well um, just below that as part of your focus here we're starting to see um, a need for adaptability so this is um, the squid and it's such a funny little guy and the squid represents um, adaptability through creativity so um, it can also be representative of defensiveness so for some of you possibly um, you're in that you're coming into that energy of um, if there's a new opportunity opening up for you, perhaps there could be um, a slight defensiveness again, um, even if it's some of you needing to let go of any past experiences or opportunities, um, sorry, any past experiences um, that no longer serve you. It could be that you're being required to let that go, but that's creating a bit of a defensive energy. Um, but for others, it really is just about being adaptable, which we see here with the rubber band. Um, you're really needing to focus your energy towards um, being creative being able to um, tap into your creativity in order to adapt and change to move forward so that's just calling um, some of your attention here for the month and um, we're also seeing the girl guide badge here and that um, is representative of a couple of things it's really just about making the right choices and doing the right thing so um, it's interesting because it's coming into your main focus but it's also coming just above um, this interesting cluster um, in your obstacles area as well so um, where you were called upon here to um, perhaps compromise and to go with the flow um, we're seeing here um, the message of doing the right thing so um, it's really just about making good decisions and that's for yourself and um, also for the people around you as well um, for others it can be about um, work in the community so it could literally be um, that you're volunteering or you're looking at helping out in the community in some capacity um, so for it's really just a general um, just about making right choices and, and being in a good energy a good positive energy of being helpful to yourself or to others um, in a situation around you so that's a really good positive energy still and then what I'll quickly focus on here before we move more towards the direction of the future um, I'll just take a quick look at your final challenges and obstacles area here we do have some more initials and these are some unusual ones so we have the letter X so that's very unusual and quite specific and we also have the letter Z Oh, I'm sorry you can't see that too clearly there but that is the letter Z there so um, they're surrounding the pig as well so um, the pig energy so as I was saying sorry before just the initials may not mean anything to you but to some of you it may be an initial of a person a place or an experience or opportunity um, but the Z and the X are 
um, also surrounding the pig and the pig is a lovely energy it can have negative traits it can also have some very positive traits um, on a negative side it can represent overindulgence and it also can represent stubbornness so with it being here in your challenges and obstacles I'm feeling more inclined to read it um, as a sort of stubborn energy so it could be um, if it's overindulgence for some of you um, this could just be a reminder not to get caught up in that um and that negative energy so just um reminding you to um, just take care of yourself and not to overindulge in any area of your life so um whatever that may mean for some of you um, but it also what i'm really getting the sense of is that perhaps it's just a bit of a sort of digging your heels in stubborn sort of energy um it's not closely related to the situation here but um where you're being called upon to be more flexible and expand in your comfort zone area um, it's possible that's why the pig is also showing up in your challenges because it could be that you're um, perhaps really digging your heels in in a particular situation and that's creating this very um, stubborn sort of energy that you're perhaps putting barriers up around yourself um, which is keeping you um, sort of feeling stuck a little bit um, and that's becoming quite an obstacle for you so um, on the positive note however it can mean um, prosperity and good fortune as well so um, with it being in the challenge area if that is what it represents it may be for some of you that you're feeling um, especially because we see the frustration up here with the um, rope that um, with if it does represent prosperity or good fortune for some of you it could be that you're feeling that that's not coming in quick enough for you or you're feeling frustrated that it's taking some time um, to start to show up in reality so we're seeing signs of that here with the abundance and your need to um, bringing that financial security but we're also seeing signs of um, it feeling restricted or it feeling frustrating that perhaps that abundance or that prosperity isn't coming in exactly in the way that you were hoping or as quickly as you were hoping it to um, show up so um, again it may mean something different for everyone but it could be a stubborn energy or an, um, an sorry we're trying to get my words out without trying to offend you but it could just be that perhaps you're really just sort of um, digging your heels in there and perhaps being a little bit too stubborn where it's not necessary um, and that may be holding you back and for others it could just be that you're feeling frustrated that this um, you know that there are opportunities of abundance coming in but you're feeling stuck here like it's becoming a challenge for you um, that perhaps it's not coming in as quickly as you would like it to so um on a positive note though Scorpio I'm seeing some really really good energies coming in here with the full moon the full moon is coming um, into your central focus here but it's more on the side of your near future so this will be something that's coming up for you um, towards the end of August moving in towards your um, the next coming weeks and months and so the full moon is um, a beautiful energy of absolute gratitude. So it's really just being grateful for what you have, um, for the hard work that you've put in and for what you've achieved so far. Um, so it's really just looking at how far you've come and being grateful for everything that you have around you um, so that you can go ahead and set your intentions and manifest your, um, your best possible life and and the resources and the goals that you need to achieve um, to create your best possible life so um, this is all about setting intentions being grateful for what you have and um, setting your intentions and trusting that your manifestations are coming in um, it can also be a very highly emotional energy as well so it could be that coming into um, halfway through or towards the end of august um there could be some emotion or some high intensity um emotion surrounding this energy but um it's really just a calling you to just be grateful for what you have and how hard you've worked on what you've achieved so far and then setting your intentions for what you need to achieve in the the coming weeks and months um, and to really work on your goals and focus on your goals and it's interesting because that leads us to um, the section of your near future and your coming weeks and months and 
I love it. I quite like that it's actually blank because what that's telling me, Scorpio, is that the reason you have the moon here is because um, you are completely free to set your goals and intentions. So you, the future is yours to um to manifest you really can focus whatever you want um, and bring those manifestations in because you've done a lot of hard work here you're waiting on that abundance you're starting to see some of that coming into your reality here but um, I love that you have a completely blank canvas for um, the future here so you know just go for it Scorpio take your time to um, set your intentions to really focus on what it is you want to bring into your future here um, and really really trust and have faith that those manifestations are coming in for you so it's completely open to um to what you want Scorpio and what direction you want to move in so that's it go for it set your intentions and trust um, that the universe is bringing in that abundance for you you may need to just take a little bit of time to just nurture and grow um, a particular project especially if it's around your finances there but some really good positive energies and you know just completely open future ahead of you so you can just decide whatever it is you want to do whatever wherever it is you want to go um, the world is your oyster Scorpio just um, aim high set your manifestations and just go for it so a fantastic month ahead for you I think Scorpio and um, I really also just want to get a couple of extra messages for you so I'm going to zoom out and we'll take a look at the oracle cards as well okay here we are Scorpio so there are all your lovely charms for the month of August in clear view there so I think a really good reading for you maybe some challenges here um, and some frustration going on but also some really really beautiful positive energy coming in for you as well um, I've talked so long Scorpio that my poor candle has died um, but we just want to get a couple of final messages for you for the month ahead so what I'm going to use here is um, the same as I did last month. I love working with these decks. And this one is the Secret Language of Colour. So as I always say, I really just um, believe that colour can be really, really useful in our daily lives, whether that's in our meditations, if we can visualise it, or just surrounding ourselves with colour to um, help uplift our mood or um, to re-energise us or calm us, whatever that um, is for you, Scorpio the best way that you can use that um, but I really am a big believer in um, oops oh. <laughs> sorry I've lost my train of thought because I just literally threw them everywhere bear with me please sorry Scorpio as I was saying um, yeah I'm just a big believer that colour can really um, help with our energies and our um, moods and especially for you Scorpio if you're setting your uh, manifestations and intentions for your future then maybe um, visualizing some color as well could really be useful in that I'm no expert but I really do believe that it can um, have a great benefit of surrounding ourselves with color so we were given um, a card there which I will take so oh goodness sorry they're such big cards I always struggle and you hear me moan about it all the time I'm sure right please bear with me again okay let's try this one more time Scorpio so we just want another um, color message here for you for the month ahead so what can we get without me throwing them all over the table oh okay so I've thrown that one at me let's just take that before I make more of a mess okay so um, your first one you were given was plum which is a beautiful deep and rich color and that is overcome your challenges that's interesting because we did have a few challenges down here at the bottom um, with your um, your flexibility and um, with that kind of energy of reminding you to just sort of go with the flow. So if you can overcome um, the frustration or 
possibly that stubborn energy, whatever it is that may be holding you back. Um, it's definitely something that you can change because it's something within you. So um, where sometimes we may have external challenges that are a little bit more difficult to overcome. Um, what I'm seeing here, Scorpio, is that this is within you. So this is something in your power to change. Um, and so it may just require some um, some work on your part of just um, I, I I always say it I feel like I say it a lot for you Scorpio because you you've had the rubber band a few times previously but it really might just require um, some flexibility on your part maybe some compromise as well um, just to help you get over these obstacles so um, a beautiful rich color there for you but just a reminder that there are some challenges but it's all within your power to change so um, overcome your challenges there and you also have, oh, this is a beautiful energy. So this is take action. So you have jade, that beautiful, rich green, absolutely beautiful. So take action, Scorpio, do it, do it now. <laughs> um, so yes, this is where your uh, manifestations come in. So the universe is calling upon you. Um, you've already done a lot here. So you've made some changes, you've put in the work. Um, so I'm seeing that you are um, definitely bringing in new beginnings and opportunities for yourself but it's time to take action to set your intentions and work towards achieving those goals because you've um you've done a lot of really good work here scorpio and now you just want to keep up that momentum and just go for it so a really really good energy there with that beautiful jade green and then obviously finally i always love my favorite deck is the moonology oracle deck this is just a little deck um, of really good messages, just that's very helpful um, to summarize your reading. Um, always really good, helpful guidance and messages in here. So let's give these a quick shuffle. One more message for Scorpio for the month of August. Let's see what you get here. Oops, let's just take that one. <gasps> oh. That's a good one, yes. So a new start is coming. So and for any of you that have been feeling um, stuck or frustrated or restricted, um, do just have faith and trust. Um, you also have the spiritual guidance down here with the crystal ball energy as well. So um, if you can really just put trust and faith, um, there's definitely a new start coming in, which is what we were seeing here with the key. Um, and also with your focus, your mindset being focused on um, connecting to a soulmate um, and lots of love coming in as well. Um, we're just seeing some really, really good positive energies for you there, Scorpio. So some fantastic messages, I think, for you. Hopefully you were able to resonate um, with those messages and um, you were, you're feeling inspired and motivated. Um, I thought that was a really, really good positive reading just some challenges showing up for you here um, but you have done a lot of really good work Scorpio and you're just needed to um, keep nurturing it keep growing um, this opportunity so that you can really um, completely just create your future for yourself um, with some really good manifesting there so um, it's all within your power, Scorpio. A fantastic month ahead for you, I feel. Um, thank you so much, as always, for being here with your support and your positive energy. And I'm sending lots of love, light and blessings to you all.